Finding the perfect cup of coffee is a never-ending exploration, and sometimes you find it in the least expected places. Hi, I'm Gavin, and these are the Coffee Conspiracies. In this episode, I explored Croydon to discover whether you should open your speciality coffee shop there. Originally, I was looking at this spot in the High Street, 284 to 288, but it went in the time it took to film and then produce these episodes, and so we'll take a walk up and down what is being branded as the restaurant quarter, so you can get an idea of what is there and what works or not. Firstly, the High Street is not on the route of the rather awesome tramway. Where that route takes you through cosmopolitan streets crowded with polyglot shops and cultures, and with an incredible range of retail, the restaurant quarter seems more noted by its number of vacancies. Not so much the place of restaurants, as the place where restaurants die. Yet there isn't any particular reason for it. From the looks of things, the problem is the old-fashionedness of the places here. Those trendier, more modern spots seem to be doing okay. Eventually I spotted this place at 246 High Street. You can see it's been vacant a while, which explains the offered rent being close to its rated value at £15,000 a year. 83 square meters is also a great size for a cafe. Before I get to the stats, a word on coffee shops. Everyone and his auntie offers coffee. People are willing to sit in a cold grocery store in the middle of a parking lot and drink coffee that tastes like the ditch water scraped out of the bulges of a super tanker that's been at sea for 50 years and populated only by rats just because the sign outside says Waitrose. Unless you're building an actual Waitrose franchise, you're not Waitrose, or Starbucks, or Nero, or any one of a dozen other branded cafes. My question to you, given you're not a known brand, is why would people come to your unknown cafe and sit on a busy street watching cars go by just so they can drink the same crappy coffee they can get anywhere else but for less money? It costs almost as much to serve the best coffee in the country as it does to serve Segafredo or Lavazza or Illy. Yet if you do so, you put yourself in exactly the same market position as any other restaurant, fast food, diner or convenience store. If you're going to do this, if you're going to take this risk, sign the lease, mortgage your home, then for your own sake, learn something about coffee and do it properly. End of rant. 246 is actually a really nice size and a reasonably nice location, close to activity and with enough offices and homes nearby to offer extended trading. It's not on the main tram line, but it's not that far away. You're looking at break-even of about £800,000 a year with five employees, and margins of about 10%, which isn't bad for a cafe. For Croydon, this puts the store at about average, neither particularly good nor bad, and giving you a reasonable shot at success. The great thing is that others have already been spreading the word of good coffee, and Croydon is also a dormitory city, with almost half the working population commuting into London Centre each morning. Those folks have definitely experienced decent coffee. Vacancy rates at 10% are about average, but as I've pointed out, there's a lot of clustering in the high street. That's keeping those rents in check, but it's also suppressing consumer activity, something you're going to need to be aware of. Potentially that means needing a bit more cash to sustain yourself as you build up clientele. Retail is the second big sector in Croydon. At about 30% of the local economy and employing a third of the population, this means about 80% of the working population, 100,000 people, live and work quite close by. Superficially, the restaurant quarter may not appear to be working, but I think it's a tremendous aspiration and deserving of success. As Croydon continues to develop and attract investment, retail can only improve particularly as London itself becomes increasingly unaffordable. This little spot looks like a grand opportunity to the right cafe, and I wish you well. Until I get a chance to visit you in that spot, let's go find some coffee.